Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Slayer Legend of Heroes, and we're gonna get that gold sword once I figure out how to mash the button too much. Come on, oh, give me sword! Thank you. And we just warp quill our way out of here. And we're just gonna offload our bling before we move on. The guy who says he's the only honest thief alive will take 10 gold every time you talk to him. Oh, right, I forgot, um... This place doesn't buy stuff back, because they're not going to give people money. And another person that Giles knows. And hates. We really should ask more questions about this town. Oh, the Prime Minister is from Thief Town also. I wonder if they're making a statement here. Well, the gold card uh, feels like something we're going to need. Sleep mist, you say? Why does this feel a little bit like censorship? You know what? I shouldn't assume. Oh yes. The effect of using the sky scope is that we can now permanently see enemies on the overworld. We'll just smash through the usual bunch of misfits. Doom Patrol? Grant Morrison, no! Ah, uh, government! Yep. Well, okay. Oh, this is pretty relaxed. Yes, we can. Oh god, an NPC actually means salary man. Yeah, you should be careful about what you think is potential uh, censorship or not. Or any changes. For example, uh, in Final Fantasy 1, I, Garland, will knock you all down is actually not that far off from what he says in the original Japanese. How amazing for you. Yeah. Gaius the Ugly. Man, I am just so sad that we live in an area where blank the blank is no longer an appropriate uh, thing to apply to rulers. Well, uh... Good for you. Why, yes it is. And I think we should have asked what was in that. And, uh, because we did that, we now have another inn we can use. Huh. 
Let's see if going in and out will actually change anything. Ah, uh, no, I guess not. We were supposed to talk to her. Someone told us we should. Well, not much we can do except go back to Gil and... Well, that didn't take long. Wait a minute. He was escorting the princess. Why do things always get more complicated? Oh, such is the life of an RPG protagonist. The head of our organized crime is wounded. This is no time to talk about such things. Then I remembered you can't reach the bedroom from anywhere else inside of the house. Doubtful. Well, ain't that the way. That seems about right. Yeah, how is the Prime Minister doing? Uh, it just keeps on getting better, don't it? Monsters inside towns, what is the world coming to? Thankfully, they are not immune to instant death. Who doesn't? Uh... Oh, he went to the tower. Hey, now we can unload our uh, gold sword. He will say sucker, but this is the proper going rate, so we have a lot of gold now. I think I'm gonna hold on to all this other stuff. Oh, you sell elixirs! Huh. Okay, so salt revive someone with one hit point. Elixirs revive someone with full health. Well, only one place to go now. Just rest up again? Yeah, one of the things I like about this game is how everything is just done so quickly. Encounters... Well, mostly encounters. Those are the really the most generally time-consuming part of uh, old RPGs. Some newer ones. Well, uh... This is a problem? I guess we do. Hey, word's getting around, finally. And he's just like the last one. 
And he goes down just like the last one. That she does. It should. Hey, we're actually famous now! It doesn't take an entire game! Um, have you ever heard of carnivores? Hmm... You know, since this game is making a big deal about how weapons don't work on him... ...and they've been pushing the mute spell on me, I think that using Calm on the next boss could have some very nasty consequences. Which means that the next boss could actually be interesting. Okay, so I guess the next thing we need to do is... <laughs> well, too bad. I guess the next thing we need to do is uh, just poke around the tower for a bit, so I'm gonna be running right over there. I don't actually know what's in there, so... Well, that's the whole point of this entire playthrough, never mind. Oh yeah, something about um, uh, this particular encounter. You can actually put the Snout Pig to sleep by casting ice on him, which makes me wonder if there's other different uh, elemental interactions to be found between monsters and uh, spells in this game. I'll have to do that some other time. Okay, that looks like something we should be able to use the gold card on, but uh, for some reason we can't. Well, I guess there's not much more we can do now then, uh, just explore around. Look at the bones! Okay, those shield knights... They occasionally reflect physical attacks. Which is why it looks like we've taken such a quick beating. Thankfully though, they're slow, so easily avoidable. That looks important, but, well, not much we can do about it. Come on, there has to be something we can do in here. Well, other than get run over by the local wildlife. No, not this one. Not here either. Okay, after a bunch of fumbling around that didn't accomplish anything... I decided to just, you know, leave. Ah, now Janice will tell the story. Uh-huh. Oh! You know, the more uh, we hear about it, the more Naja sounds like one of the weapons from uh, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, thank you for your apocalyptic story, Janice.
Okay, I'm going to need to suss this all out. There has to be something I'm missing. Hmm, let's see. Maybe the Master Thief will know something. No, no, I, I don't... Uh. Nothing. Well, hmm. Okay, so I am an idiot because I apparently forgot about the guy who was looking for a gold card back in Acadia. Yes, this gold card. That's the thing about Legend of Heroes, they expect you to pay attention. Okay, it looks like we can finally make some progress in there. And mandatory random encounters. Goblins are nothing special. Even though... They are a late game encounter. Or whatever part of the game this is, I don't know, it feels like we're heading towards a late game. Tell us about it, Gramps. Uh huh? Oh, it's one of those civilizations. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit out of our depth. We're just in a fantasy setting as far as we know. This is getting pretty weird. Are you okay, old man? Come on, lay back for a minute while I take care of that, that thing. All right, big and ugly. Let's see you chew on this. What the? Nice try, man child. I just love it when someone falls for that image casting trick. If you really wish to face me, you'll have to make your way to the top floor of this crystal tower where you'll find the real me. But since the control unit for the tower's elevator is currently in my hands here on the top floor, you won't be able to face me unless you can fly, of course. Let me put it another way. The situation is hopeless. Now return to the high and mighty minister and tell him I'll be coming after his hide soon. Can you stand, old fella? Yes. I don't know if this will help, but I've got a warp quill in my pouch. 